Nowadays, using software and installing it into a system is in a way is risky. There can be a huge chance for unauthorized access to occur to physical and logical systems. Access control is an essential component of every organization and critical to the security IT systems. Access to these systems and manipulating the data is appropriately controlled according to data classification levels described in access control policies. ACP defines permission to file and folders, user account privileges, firewall permission, data access rights, encryption, and almost any permission required to access an information system. They also detail management of a number of key issues such as passwords, operating system software controls, higher risk system access, controlling remote user access, and remote restricting access. The project on ACP extraction is developed by Sridhar Gopi, Nandu VK, Sail JP, and Yetu Krishnan PC under the guidance of Professor Dr. Arun Kumar M. N. Thanks. This is the overview of our presentation. Almost all applications that deal with safety, privacy, or defense include some form of access control. However, it is very challenging and time consuming to extract these policies manually. Therefore, we propose an approach to extract ACPs from natural language documents using NLP. Following was our objectives to implement, that is, to use SRL as a means to identify ACP using dependency parsing, to use deep learning techniques to improve performance of SRL for extraction and extracting it to a separate document, to compare performance of different approaches and compare it effectively. Then, the problem statement as a daily is to extract access control elements from natural language documents using NLP. The following figure shows our system architecture of the project, in which ACP documents are provided as CSP file as an input, and then lexical parsing was performed by segmentation and tokenization, and also by TFID factorization. Next, ACP sentences are identified using a deep learning sequential model and the ACP sentences were extracted into a separate text and JSON file, which was later used for semantic parsing and visualization of semantic roles using SPACI. For implementation, the first step is the pre-process of data followed by vectorization and finally visualization of result. Various Python libraries were used in this project. SPACI is used to visualize dependency parser, scikit-learn for deep learning, TK interface for creating UI. Dependency parser was based on SPACI's Encore WebSM model. Sequential model was used for deep learning method. From sklearn library modules such as train test split and label encoder was used to perform operations such as splitting of dataset and fitting the model. A data flow diagram shows the way information flows through process or system. In our system, we have three levels from 0 to 2 and they are Level 0, Level 1, and Level 2. Result. Given us a picture of output file in JSON format. We could get the extracted sentences as a text file or a JSON file. JSON format is more structured. Next, the dependency graph. It shows the relationship between semantic roles. There would be a graph for each sentence. And given graph is an example. Model summary. We have used sequential model for prediction, which is adding layers to model one by one from input to output. Here, there are three layers. First one is the input layer with 10 nodes. Second is hidden layer with 8 nodes. Third is output layer with one node of prediction. And we have got nearly 80% test accuracy. Now the conclusion. We have developed a model that can classify the sentences with access control elements in it and also plot a dependency graph which shows the relationship between semantic roles. In future, this approach could be like just taking ACPs and grouping them to one group based on the similar subject. And these ACPs and subject could be used to create a role permission assignment relationships, which gives what all permissions to be assigned for a particular role. Also using ABAC instead of RBAC would increase the efficiency of the model. That's all from the presentation slides. Thank you.